Patty Jenkins' Rogue Squadron movie is actually happening again. And I'm really excited about this because this is a movie that I wanted to actually see. It seems like she was really passionate about it. She was invested. And it wasn't just a paycheck for her, which seems to be for a lot of Star Wars writers and directors these days. Only money. No money, no parts, no deal. Patty Jenkins' Star Wars movie Rogue Squadron might not be dead after all. The project, centered on fighter pilots in the Star Wars universe, was first announced at the end of 2020 and was put on the calendar for a 2023 theatrical release. By September 22, however, Disney had pulled the title from its release schedule. In a new interview on the Talking Pictures podcast, Jenkins announced that she is now once again in development on the script for Rogue Squadron, following the dissolution of her planned Wonder Woman 3 at Warner Bros., when I left Star Wars to do Wonder Woman 3 and I started working on that, we talked about, well, maybe I'll come back to Star Wars after Wonder Woman 3. So we started a deal for that to happen, Jenkins said. When Wonder Woman 3 then went away, Lucasfilm and I were like, oh, we've got to finish this deal. We finished the deal right as the strike was beginning, so I now owe a draft of Star Wars, so we will see what happens there. Who knows? They have a hard job in front of them. What's the first movie they're going to do? Jenkins added about Lucasfilm. They have other directors who have been working, but I am now back on doing Rogue Squadron. We'll see what happens. We need to get it where we're both super happy with it. Rogue Squadron is still not yet confirmed to be officially happening, but Jenkins is working on a script for it. She said she would be absolutely happy to make it, adding, The emotion of Star Wars and what it stands for is something so beautiful in this world. If I can do something beautiful and do something that serves that audience... I would love to do it. And the fact that her dad was a fighter pilot. So like she is like heavily invested in this to make it the best that she can because it means something to her. And these are the kind of people that we need to hire. These are the kind of people we need working for Star Wars and who understand Star Wars too. Jenkins had been developing a third Wonder Woman to star Gal Gadot, which appears to be one reason Rogue Squadron stalled in the first place. Jenkins publicly exited the project. The news hit shortly after James Gunn and Peter Safran took the reins of DC Studios and announced they would be overhauling the DC Universe, which led to speculation that Jenkins had rebuffed efforts to reshape Wonder Woman 3. I never walked away, Jenkins shared in a post on Twitter at the time. I was open to considering anything asked of me. It was my understanding there was nothing I could do to move anything forward at the time. DC is obviously buried in changes they are having to make, so I understand these decisions are difficult right now. Roughly an hour after Jenkins posted her statement, Gunn supported her on Twitter, replying, I can attest that all of Peter and my interactions with you were only pleasant and professional. Okay, well, who cares about DC right now? They aren't interested in doing any Wonder Woman for the time being. It's not an easy task. Anyways, if you want to listen to her, I guess, say all this stuff, you can go to the Talking Pictures podcast, episode 9 on Max, and I guess that's where she's actually discussing this and confirming that Rogue Squadron is happening again. This is beautiful news because I know a lot of us really wanted it. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> and it was funny when a lot of people were, you know, were saying that, oh, no one wants to see the Ray movie because it's directed by a woman. No. A lot of people argued that, hey, there's a lot of people that want to see the Rogue Squadron movie and that's directed by a woman. So that is, has no credibility. I don't want to hear any more about It's merely the things that the director is saying. And Patty Jenkins seems like she's very invested and very passionate about this project. And I personally really want to see a Rogue Squadron movie made by her because I think that she could be the right one behind the job. Time, of course, will tell. We've had that many times in Star Wars where we think, you know, a director is perfect. But uh, they deliver something completely different or Disney gets too involved we assume, and change the whole thing around. I have to admit, my trust in them has been shaken. So I personally have high hopes for this. I think it's going to be pretty cool. And I mean, how badly can you wreck a Rogue Squadron movie, really? Like, it's not like you got legendary characters in there that you can, uh, you can mess up if you don't understand the Force or how the Force works. So that's the update. Rogue Squadron movie is back on the shelf. Well, not on the shelf. It's off the shelf, and it's greenlit. So that's good news. That's good news that's good news have a great day guys may the force be with you see you in the next one